All right, let's continue with our weapon setup. And uh, in the meantime, I've decided that this weapon uh, info, which is actually uh, an enum right now, uh, I want to change that. I want it actually to be a struct. So my weapon type here, which is a rifle and a knife, I want to use that inside, uh, just like we have a, a struct up here with uh, several informations inside it. Uh, for interactables, I want to have something specifically for weapons also, and then kind of structure that uh, together inside a uh, yeah, structure. <laughs> so let's let make a weapon. Um, do we have interactable info? Let's call this weapon info. Then. So. Inside, uh, inside our weapon info, we will put uh, the weapon type and now we will use this uh, weapon type enum, which would be a rifle or whatever. And uh, let's just to make it clear what I want to use this for. We could add something like uh, range, um, which would be maybe a float. Could add something like um, damage. And that could probably also be a float and so on. So uh, weapon specific informations. So let's just save this. We won't really use this yet, but uh, it's nice to have here. So now that we have changed everything, uh, let's go and fix this up really quickly. So we have this inside our our weapon probably somewhere here. We have a weapon info. And that's of type weapon type. So let's change this to weapon info. And um, compile and save. And uh, do we have something in here we need to change? No. And here, no. And on our base character, I don't think we have used it here yet. No. So I think actually we are ready to go uh continue yeah um if we take a look at what we need to do now and uh, then um i have my interact so i interactables which is kind of like general stuff you can interact with and this could probably be specific more specific specific also but let's add another um specific interface for weapons so um, add not that one. Right click and blueprints. Add another blueprint interface and call this I weapon. So we want to have a function called um, equip weapon. So it's not like it's the same like uh, um, uh, equip item. Because this will be a weapon that we equip. So uh, this one will take um, a weapon info. Um, like this, I think. That will be okay for now. Let's uh, save this and see if uh, it will make sense. So what do we need to use uh, an equip weapon? Uh, who you needs to use this? Well, um, the base character, uh, when we equip something, then we do a bunch of stuff here. So um, on top of all this stuff, like uh, adding the access to component and all that, uh, we also have uh, this local interactable interactable type, and this says if it's a weapon or if it's a, a door or whatever, uh, anything. And uh, actually, we want to do something specifically only if it, this is a weapon. So let's drag this one out and say switch on I interactable type, and put it up here. So. Depending on if this is a weapon or a door or whatever, uh, we will do specific things. So, um, to start off with, um, 
One thing we don't really know, because this is generally just an interactable, we are working with uh, our um, where is it? local interactable, this one. This is just a local inter uh, interactable, so we don't know if this is a weapon, and uh, but um, we don't want to put in weapon specific stuff inside the eye interactable interface. So that's what, where the the eye weapon interface comes in handy. So where did I put it? Up here. It is. So I kind of want something to be able to get the weapon type, I think, um, or weapon info. Um, so let's say uh, get um, weapon info and it should return um, weapon info and type info so if we recall the weapon info is a struct containing um, uh, all the weapons stats along with um, um, this weapon type sorry uh, weapon type this enum saying what type of weapon this is and um, yeah, so now we have an interface defined called weapon info. So yeah, once I, I pick this up um, and equip it, I want to call get weapon uh, type. No, sorry, get weapon info, and only for if I pick up a weapon. So we call uh, no, not this one. We drag from this one and get get I get. I may need to compile. Uh, get weapon info. Yeah, there it is. And we want to drag this one here. So, um, and then we uh, want to uh, signal to our animation blueprint that we uh, equipped a weapon and then pass these informations uh, onto the animation blueprint. So, from our mesh, we can get um, an anim instance like this, and let's see. Um, our base character does not implement uh, or have this weapon uh, added to the interface, so I will add this to i interface uh, i in i weapon here, and. I all will also do that with the uh, animation blueprint uh, here. Here, pairing class interfaces, no interface. So I will add I weapon. And do I need I interactable? I can't remember really. Anyway, let's not add it before we need it. Um, fuck! I have a lot of tabs open. Jesus. All right. Fuck. This one. Right. Equip weapon. We will make um, not this one. It will be I weapon. And drag this one in. So we want to get the weapon info. And the weapon info we just uh, fetched from here. So we can drag this one in here. That was kind of nifty, wasn't it? I agree, because you have no way of telling me you think it's a bad idea. Um, I do it like this. Bad idea, maybe. Anyway, continuing. So let's go to our. Um, let's compile this and save first. Let's go back to our animation blueprint and. Uh, do something when we equip a weapon called equip weapon. <coughs> so we don't need this. This is some old stuff, and this is also old stuff. Out. Um, all right. So in here we can now maybe compile first. So right click and say event um, equip weapon. Yes. 
So uh, once this is called with uh, weapon info, I see I forgot to add the the weapon itself. Oh, uh, the weapon in yeah. Ah, I need to add something to my interface. I weapon equip weapon. We will also need to pass on the weapon. So uh, let's see. Um, this could actually just be an interactable, I think. Even though the method is called equip weapon, I don't really want to... Um, what did I do here? I don't really want to um, interactable... Jesus. Okay, I really don't want to make any casts in between if I can avoid it. So um, inside my animation blueprint here I have the interactable. If I were to um, make this equip weapon um, a weapon, then I would have to have to make a cast in between here, I think. Uh, I'll return to this later on if it proves to be a bad idea. So um, let's continue uh, with this being an interactable. Okay, so back to the blueprint. Uh, now we have a weapon info and we have um, interactable. So let's, as always, make a function for this so we can talk it away. Uh, do equip. Uh, weapon like this and it will as always take a few parameters uh, the weapon info this one and the uh, interactable this one All right so we need to do a few things here. First of all, I think it's a good idea to save a reference to this um, these variables here on the um, on the on the animation blueprint. So I'll just create two new variables here. Uh, I think I only got one. Come on, I'll call this uh, weapon info and type weapon info. And we'll set this to be the weapon info. And we also want to have um into, mm, let's call it equipped item. Sounds better. And Call this interactable reference. Did I get it? Yeah. So we'll also set this one. And this one. So now we have this bunch of information on uh, our animation graph. And um, one of these informations are of particular interest to us that's uh, the weapon type because we will need this to drive the, um, the event graph. Um, nope, not the event graph, the animation graph. What did I put there? Right here. And I see this is some old stuff. We don't need that. So this is uh, the default state um, machine we have from the standard um, example. And uh, let's um, let's actually take a break here before we finish up all the the rest here and uh, uh, complete the, the animation also. So uh, stay tuned for the last uh, bit of this, and I hope to yeah I hope to be able to finish this uh, in the last episode. Yeah. All right. So see you in a bit. Bye bye.